Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today we're in the Media Archaeology Lab, and we just got in a Tektronix oscilloscope, actually from my brother-in-law, Stephen, who you saw in an earlier episode. So I'm going to show some cool tricks that you can do with the oscilloscope and music. So let's get started. This is the Tektronix 2205. It's a 20 megahertz dual trace analog oscilloscope. Around 1990, it retailed for around $695. These models were produced from approximately 1989 to 1993. My brother-in-law actually got it in 1989 as a graduation present from college from his parents. And he used it for many years afterward when he was doing hobby electronics. We're going to go ahead and use the oscilloscope to display what some music looks like. This is a special audio file called Oscillofun that I found on the web along with instructions on how to do this. So the first thing to do is we want to hook up our probes. So I've taken the two signal probes here, one with the alligator clips and the other one with the 10x probe and I've plugged them into the vertical channels 1 and channel 2. And then I also have a normal 3.5 millimeter aux cable where I've stripped off the end of the cable and just exposed the three wires. So there's the ground, the negative, and the positive on those three wires. So we're going to go ahead and we'll hook up our audio clips. So for the alligator clips, we just want to hook the ground or black one to the ground of the aux cable and then we'll hook the positive or red one to the white or negative of the stereo cable. And then same thing for the 10x signal probe. Here we'll hook up the ground clip again to the, neg the ground on the aux cable and then we'll hook up the positive to the positive of the aux cable there. And just make sure if you're doing this that the wires aren't touching, otherwise you'll just ground out your signal. As far as the actual settings on the oscilloscope, set the channel one to about 0.5 volts on the one X. Channel two, we wanna make sure that we've switched that to 10 X to multiply the gain on the probe by 10. And then for the 10 X setting, we wanna set that to about 50 millivolts. And then finally for the horizontal, because we want to display an XY plot, we need to change this all the way down so it says XY on the display. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll just plug our aux cable into the laptop. So let's go ahead and we'll just start the audio file now. The creator of this Oscillofun audio file is someone known as Adam Delta. And he or she has done an amazing job at syncing the output of the music to the frequencies that you would see on the oscilloscope. And you can see he's even able to spell out letters on the scope. So one thing to keep in mind, if you want to download the file, you really need to download a very high quality audio file, so like an FLAC or WAV, I tried an MP3 but it just was too lossy and so the signal ended up just completely distorted.
I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Tektronix oscilloscope in the Media Archaeology Lab. We actually plan on using the oscilloscope to help repair all of the computers and game consoles that we have. If you happen to be in Boulder, you're welcome to stop by the lab and play some games. So once again, thanks for watching.